Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Another episode of the Unlaced Podcast. Uh, Merry Christmas to you all, you filthy animals. It's that time of year. Uh, If you are new here, I just want to thank you for coming along. It means the absolute world to us. Please give us a like and subscribe. It's how we grow. And if you come back again, as I always say, I absolutely love you now. Um, There's a bit of laughing in this in the background before because we're doing something different today. And this is two of my best mates. We're doing a bit of a mates Xmas special because it's that time of year. And I want to do this as a bit of an annual tradition break. And I came up with the idea, but also I got to give credit to my two friends here, Kevin Coombs and Andrew Dutch. Uh, we're we're on a bit of a Larry Endo one day, and we thought this would be a great idea. So <laughs> here we are. Yeah, we made here it. we are. A it lot was, more sober. It was a half-hearted comment. Didn't think we'd end up here. Yeah. Two weeks later. Yeah. Do you know Wait, what? Boys, can you come on? I didn't. I thought you guys might feel like privileged to be asked to come on the show, but like, there's just been none, none of that. None of like, geez, I'm grateful to come on. You boys just like, yeah, we'll just turn up. You know what? Dutch I- was 28 minutes late. <laughs> Kev was Kev was late and thought because. Which is like, oh, I'll just come a bit later. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. He, he didn't say much when I wrote, I'm going to be a bit late. When he, <laughs> yeah, that, when he didn't write me too, I'm like, oh, I'm gone here. <laughs> I ignored the text because I saw that. I'm like, yeah, fuck that. I've got at least 10 minutes up my sleeve. Oh, man. But like, I do I do feel really special, especially when I had to buy my own drink. <laughs> yeah, he said <laughs> that. You know, so you do with all you guys? Hey, thanks I for said, the beers. No, yeah, yeah. no worries, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not all are allergic yeah, to beers. Thanks, mate. Yeah, so. <laughs> but anyway, for, for those, just to give a bit of background. So Kevin Dutch, they're actually two best mates. They've grown up together. They adopted me into their friendship group probably um you know four or five years ago and we've been very close ever since now um Dutch is one of the best sparkies in the business so we give a plug to your sparky business yeah, Dutch electrics Dutch electrics uh, on instagram if you want to give us a follow yep do not leave your missus at home or anything like that when he's there but he is good to go he's very good in the industry and then kevin coombs a bit about yourself mate you're in the con- construction industry uh i do want to dabble into your car racing ventures but i'll let you maybe speak about what you're doing now just straight off the bat straight off the bat bro. uh project manager at a company called ironside um, yeah, pretty uh, much it, really. Oh, again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave uh, anyone at home when Kev's coming <laughs> past the <laughs> sites. But uh, both, both great in their fields. I do hit them up if you do need any help. Now, um, I do actually want to talk about. I don't know if you were on this Dutch, but just to give a, a gist of like Kevin Coombs, the Hoon, because um, everyone knows Kev's like got the revved up Mercedes oh, that you yeah, can hear yeah. from three suburbs away and. He's spinning in and out of corners, and sometimes you fear for your life driving with him. But the first time I actually really kind of grasped that you're actually pretty good at like driving and mm-hmm. this race car background that you had or yep. race karting background you had was legitimate was the Bucks we went on. The, oh, Were you on that right. Bucks? Bucks? Joe's Bucks? Joe's no, Bucks. I, I remember that. Oh, so we, I th- you've already seen this. So you've already seen this type I of stuff. I did look like a fucking oh, arrogant cunt. Bro, though, so I this, yeah, this, <laughs> this day we had one of the biggest – like it was – <laughs> it was a two-day one. Yeah, the, and the 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 oh, people the who made the the bucks really stuffed up because they put go karting at ten a.m. or eleven a.m. Yep. on the second day. Yep. Who blew over? Uh, about four people. The buck, yeah. the buck blew over as buck well. Blew over. Rob yeah. blew over. Rob blew yeah. over. Yeah. Rob, so, did, Rob, did Rob race? Yeah, he did yeah, in the end because he came back and did it, and he was good. Yes. Yeah. So what happened was we had a massive Friday night. Where we were all, we that first night? Uh, we st- we started at Crown. Yes, we had the room at Crown. Yes, we had the room at Crown. I think we were at Crown most of the night. Me and Rob won three and a half grand that night. Yes, that was that night. Yes, that was yeah. great. So yeah, do, you great know, do you know how much better it is when you wake up hungover <laughs> and, you've got and you wake bank. up? You know when you, you know when you're that you've hungover <laughs> that, was, that you don't even know you don't even know where you've woken up for a split second and you're like, where the fuck am I? And I'm yeah, like, oh, I'm up three and a half grand, and you just like you get a spring. It's always on a feel better. Yeah, it's always on a box. It only happens like that. Yeah. So anyway, we've had this massive night. And then they've booked, we're in the city, we're staying at Crown or in South Bank or something. It's like 20 of us. Then we have to get on a bus and drive to Dandenong to the go-karts. And there's literally, at the, at the the on that day, the Monash Freeway was uh, closed. So we had to take like one road in this massive bus and like literally boys were like stopping the bus to like go and vomit and stuff. Everyone was in all sorts. Yeah. But the, the beauty of it was we got there, you had to like breathalyze. So 
it was funny because a few people blew over. No, you do. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Like yeah, literally, yeah. and people you wouldn't think as well. People that like kind of left early were blown over, and people like me and someone else with last man standing, mm. we were like straight in. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, yeah, hey, yeah, what's yeah. going on, boy? But anyway, we we were doing like an actual qualifying. It was split in two groups, qualifying. The fastest, like, first 10 were actually in a race. And obviously, Kev qualified fastest. So they put him at the front. All the carts are the same pace here. Like, it's, you know, there's not much talent in my eyes that could win. It's, like, pretty pretty much luck, like a yeah. bit of braking and stuff. But yeah. they're it's all the same field. speed. It's a big field. It's a big field. Yeah. Like, anything can, anything can happen. So this guy's arrogant. So I'm like, well, we'll see if Kev's any good. Because everyone's like, Kev's going to win, da-da-da. He's, he starts first in the thing, and then he goes around to the guy and goes, ah, you know, and you can put me last. And I'm like, well, this guy, the fucking nerve in this guy, bro. I swear to God, they put him last. Four laps in, he was already overlapping. Yeah. Like the same cart speed. Yeah. And I was like, well, it's, it's just disgusting, bro. Yeah, but to be fair, everyone was start started last every time you've gone. Go, go I have started yeah, every yeah. last, but yeah. yeah. But it's just so arrogant. Nothing new, but it's good to see for the first time, isn't yeah, it? I was, yeah, I was, I was like, I was honestly deep down, I was in awe, but I just didn't want him to know it. Yeah. Yeah, it do you remember the guy? Do you, actually, do you remember the guy that vomited in his helmet? Someone vomited. Oh, I can't remember. Who but they that? came in, they pulled out he into the pits, and, and they vomited vomit. in the helmet. They couldn't get it off because it was so strapped <laughs> in, and he's come out. No and the way. best part was when he walked off, there was an eight-year-old birthday party that was next, and they saw his face and the vomit, and they're like, oh, Daddy, no, I don't want to do this. <laughs> like, <laughs> like oh little do they know. I'm like, don't worry. This no, guy's up to 4 a.m. Just like I just, I just can't believe you introduced me as most arrogant cunt you've ever met. That's Well, well most about. competitive and arrogant, but we're going to go into it. But I do want to I do want I do want to open up to you, and you guys can talk about yourself here but how how would we explain our friendship to the listeners Oof. let's dabble into that it's i'll start t- i'm gonna start with dangerous <laughs> yeah dangerous is a dangerous and naughty naughty, 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 naughty. oh my gosh yes all right uh, yeah look, I, I would say i would say very loyal but definitely <laughs> dangerous like yeah. i i'm genuinely concerned and it's funny that we're doing this right now because <laughs> we're because going we are oh, genuinely yeah, yeah, concerned yeah. because we are going to this party and we're going to a massive christmas party tonight and yeah we've, we've been nervous for a few weeks about it but um, it's just like it's like this uh, effect of like when we're together. Oh, the it, energy levels. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, energy yeah, levels, yeah. the vibes. You don't yeah. want to like. You don't want to leave. No, 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 no. There's too much energy. There's too much energy in this room as it is. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we get too excited. Yeah, we get too That's excited. Wrong. Yeah, carried away. Get too excited, and, then- <laughs> and it's funny because you're 30 now, and we're you're 29, 29 aren't you? Yeah. So we're both turning 30 pretty soon. Yeah. So it's like we probably like I don't know. Do we pinch ourselves and be like, do we slow this down or do? I watched this thing actually the other day of Joe Rogan talking about um, like people putting things associated with age, and he's like, fuck nah. that. No, nah. I was like, oh, that's music Same to my ears because I'm, no. I'm getting, I'm revving up as I'm getting the thirty. That's because everyone's had like drums to their brain, like thirty, have a kid, I disagree with all house, that. you know, all that stuff. Yeah, I think, it's it's, I, think, I think, I think that's a complete load of shit. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think the age is a state of mind. You, you, I've met people that are forty and fifty, mm. and they've got enough energy as an eighteen year old. It's 18, like you choose, yeah. you choose to grow old. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you, you genuinely do choose to yeah. get old. I think yeah. thirty is a milestone. Like you a checkpoint in life. Oh, yeah. Do you reckon actually this is a good one, Tash? You do it, and Kev, you can answer. But as you get older, do you value things differently now in friendships, like uh, versus when you're like twenty? Have you noticed like that your friendship group now, like the values you've got associated with them, is different to what you had when you were younger, or is it kind of the same? It's kind of the same, but as we get as you get older, everyone's busier. Yeah, you know, it's so much, true. But it's it's fine. It is it happens, but. When you see them, it's like they never left. You know? Yeah. And, that's, and I think as you get older, you appreciate that. Like it, it, at the age of 22, 23, if you didn't see one, if you didn't see someone for three or four months, right? You'd, you'd think you'd think poorly of them. But now when everyone's, everyone's life is gone a million miles an hour yeah. and everyone's driven, like our friends are anyway. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you, you know, show me your friends. What's that saying? Show me your friends and I'll show you your son. <laughs> That, Have you heard that saying? Is that a saying? <laughs> it is. I'm can pretty we, sure we it is. I'll show you well, your son. I don't even have a kid. I need to fact check. I need to fact check. Fact check me. Where the I, fuck I, have I you heard that? Fact checks. You've never heard that? Bro, <laughs> friends, I'll show you your future. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, better yeah, one. Better. Yeah. Yeah, but that's <laughs> show no, me your friends. I'll show you. Don't you have to have a kid? Anyway, back to my story. Show me your son. So the people you hang out with, like the people you hang out with, are typically who- who yeah. you are, right? Yeah. So yeah. the people we hang out with are all pretty driven. Everyone focuses on their work and yes, everyone's lives are very, very busy. But you know what? You don't really hold them accountable anymore. So if you don't hear from them for three, four weeks, now you don't care. Yeah. Because you know. Yeah. And you're yeah. mature now. But social media fucks you in that sense as well. Yeah. Can I elaborate? Well, well, like once upon a time, you didn't see someone for three or four months and when you'd ask them what they've been up to, 
you're genuinely asking, but you also have no fucking clue what they're going to say. Yeah, now you're like, living you in their no life idea. almost. You right now, see. and I'm sure you guys can all relate, when you say, hey, you know, how you been? What have you been up to? And they go, oh, I've been to Bali. You'll, you'd automatically say- yeah, I live there. Oh, yeah, you were yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, on a saw Wednesday that. night. Yeah, you'd say like, yeah, I saw that on, on social media. So it's like- it's a half assed comment now because you sort of half know what everyone's up to now. So you got the same value. I find that interesting. You got the same values on your friendships now at 30, at 20. Mine are completely different. Yeah. Collaborate. Like my like now I'm very I'm so much more selective of who I have around. Like and I'm much more aware of who I trust and, and don't. Where where I was 20, I was like, I was everyone's mate. It's you know what I mean? We have the same crew from Yeah. We, yeah, that's pretty unique though, yeah. man. I think that's pretty unique. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah well, because how long what, how old were you guys when you bar, first bar became few, friends? Because because everyone's excelling together, you know what I mean? Yeah. No one's really we, dropped we, off. We were but that's, that does, that's not always the case. We have dropped mm. off a few, but like we, we, we we've, been, off. we've been, <laughs> we've been best mates. Savage. <laughs> yeah. no, Show us your son. <laughs> 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 and I'll show you your future. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Give us your palm reader. Oh, Give us your palms, bro. Next tap sword. Oh, man. <laughs> well, how does this year compare to COVID, though, for you? Like, as in from a work perspective, from a personal life perspective, has it like – been easier for, for everything? Has it changed anything? Because well, I feel like COVID everyone was, was affected by it. So a lot of builders slowed down. A lot of places shut down. You couldn't go to people's houses. Mm. So it slowed right down. But I was still able to go to work, which is good. But this year's so much better. You know, we've expanded to yeah. apprentices. Yeah, flying. Another work Very car. Good, so it's good. Well done, brother. Yeah, cheers, huh? Cheers. No, cheers. cheers. Solid. Yeah, see the bottom then? Or yeah. <laughs> Here we go. See, that's what I mean. Yeah. Dangerous. Dangerous. Dangerous, yeah, I know. Well, it's, as, Ke- as Kev would say. Do you reckon um, actually COVID changed you guys in any way? Mate, COVID f- was the best time of my life. As you, you, you were at the house. Yeah. So we were we were blessed enough to- um, <laughs> We were once or twice. Between, between, <laughs> between curfew hours. No, yeah. we, we were blessed to obviously move in with a few friends. Um. And oh, so, this house. Sorry, we need to talk about this yeah. house. Yeah, go. No, go on. Please elaborate into it. So I'm just going to say, for me, it was it was one of the best times of my life because we were never really alone. We weren't like, although people we were isolated. We were isolated with a good like minded bunch of people, and we had fun. Mm. Probably too much. Too fun. much fun. Too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that for me, like for us personally, I think our experience to COVID compared to. You know, a lot of other people. Yeah. Very different. Can we talk about actually, you guys, I wasn't there, so you guys are going to have to explain this, but no, no, no. I was there every other time, but not this time. So to explain this house, yeah, party of the year, literally around this time of year. So this house was a three, I was uh, interstate. I was in the Gold Coast or something. But anyway, this um, this house was a three-story house, four boys living there. The middle floor was like the common living room area. You had two bedrooms on the top and bottom, which you two are up the top. Yeah. Anyway, there's a famous- New Year's party that happened at this house that to the point it was like you guys were so scared to potentially have it again that if you did, you were going to hire security because the amount of yeah. people that were there, it's like it was like famous around Melbourne. I don't know how many years ago was this? Three years? That was the year it was, before COVID. It was a lot of people, it was, it was in control, but no, there was at one point it didn't. You were, I don't know where you were, but it, it, it wasn't at one, <laughs> <laughs> at one point. It was, I was, I was at one point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, for everyone watching, this happened in New Mexico. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, foreign territory. But anyway, yeah. so on the day of, right, mind you, prior to this, we have everything organised. We, we've we got uh, a lighting guy to come through to illuminate all the walls, get the strobe light, get the smoke machine. we got serious speakers. we got a sign made up called, you know, Boiler Room Elwood. Um, we had a sign saying <laughs> no song amazing. request because there's always that annoying bitch that fucking suggests... Uh, <laughs> Do a leaper or some random fucking track you don't want to play in the middle. And of you song. guys all have a common trend of playing like you guys have because there was three DJs out of the four in the house. I think we got to about five. 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 So yeah, we had but, a list. So, and those all DJs were like very pure DJs in the sense of like we don't take requests, we play our music. Correct. Well, he was headlining. <laughs> uh, Reva, <laughs> yeah. But he was headlining. One of the DJs was headlining Reva and and the road. finished. Yeah, cross the road, finish of Reva, and then come and and play the set at ours. Right. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So because the house was right across. Yeah, right. The house was right yeah, near Reva. Right. right Near Reva. Yeah. And you want to hear the best story about this? One of our friends, and I, and I can't name his name, one of our friends said um, that he knows someone very closely. This is on the night, right? On the night. I get, I get a message uh, from a friend saying, hey, I just saw um, cops riding on a bike and I'm shooting myself. And oh, then my mate comes the music up to me. Stopped. The music stopped. No, no, wait, wait, wait. So, so, I, I go, <laughs> so my mate comes up and goes, Kev, stop stressing. I'm like, why? He goes, I didn't want to tell you this, but I've put, we've put a black X on this house. I go, what do you mean? He goes, we've. Blah, 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 so-and-so, we've told them 
<laughs> that if anyone calls up this house and gives you this address, that to black out that street, that no no patrols, no one's going to come from the street, right? Anyway, so I'm like, you're kidding. And he goes, we are safe. We're safe. What and I'm like, fuck? I'm like, I fucking love so you. So you've got a CIA, and, a CIA yeah. member in the party that's and, blacklisted the party, and, and, blacklisted the street. So just, you guys can you rock on. To this, he knows who this is. Like, you know who you are. Thank you very much. Fuck you at the same time, but thank you very much. <laughs> okay, for okay. And I'll explain why in a second, right? <laughs> so anyway, oh, cops roll be. up in front of our house on Marine Parade. And we look and everyone shits themselves. We turn the music off completely. Do you remember this moment? Everyone's just frozen. <laughs> like everyone dead fish frozen. in the house. So we, all make a noise. At this point, we, we, we'd already climbed half with fist, fist pump on the dance floor. <laughs> 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 We've closed the blinds completely, right? And the music, like, I don't think you understand. Like, I, like for those people listening, like, I, words can't describe. The, there was lights coming out from every angle. There was lasers coming out. Like, everyone knew we had a party. And they leave and I come in. At this point, I'm like absolutely blind. I walk in, I'm like, Guys, everyone was quiet. I go, guys, guys, shush, shush, shush. Like, I've got a big announcement to make. I'm like, I'm really sorry, but we're fucking back. <laughs> Drop, <laughs> drops fish I'm up. not fucking leaving. Yeah. As soon as went off, we went off. Anyway, I obviously was just, music was on till five, six in the morning, as loud as it could be, because in my mind, back of my mind, I thought we can't get caught for this. Sure enough, I find out like a month later, that was all a lie. My mate didn't get a black X on our name. He just said that so I enjoyed my night. Fuck you. Hence, I already know who it is. (laughs) (laughs) That's one of the greatest stories you've ever heard on this podcast, potentially. Um, We need to find out who that person was off the record. Um, But I just want to know, before we go into, I guess, a bit more about us and and next year and the New Year's resolutions and so forth, what's one thing you guys are grateful for this year? If you pick one thing that you've, you've, you've really valued this year specifically, what would it be? Like I'll start us uh, off. For, for me, yeah. it's probably my um, seeing my trajectory in my career and finding more alignment in mm. what I think I should be doing because mm. it's a very loss for a period without soccer. Yep. So this, this year's kind of like, okay, now I can see what I can do. You can see yeah. light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, yeah correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. what I'm very you're grateful for that. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, 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 about, geez, geez, you didn't say that before we fucking started. Well, that's because yeah. we have to buy our own. <laughs> 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 yeah, we well, have to fucking buy them next time too. 28 minutes late. <laughs> 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 and do you know what? He, to be fair, I felt like he felt bad too. So, um, uh, Did you? Did you feel bad? I felt bad. <laughs> I felt bad for Brayden. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's it. <laughs> Screw you two. I love that. I love that. Oh, come on, tell me. What's one thing you're grateful for? Surely you got something in your head. Come on. It's very similar to me. Uh, not, maybe not well, that's one. Fine. That's things, fine. That's fine. Whatever. For a lot of things. Well, Friends, well, family, well, my health, and yeah. my business doing well. That's business going bad. well? That's good. That's yeah. a bullshit comment. Sorry. Yeah, well, that, that, come on. When, when, like, yeah. Bro, I gave my heart and soul universe. on my grateful, and you've given that. This isn't me. You don't wish for world peace. I'm from Texas. You don't wish for world peace. What are you really grateful for? Like, be real. I just hold you. That's oh, family, friends, family. friends. Oh, yeah. oh my god, my health. Oh, your health. Okay. Yeah. Actually, to be fair, you do work out hardcore, yeah. don't you? And like, yeah, so you're you're really good for me this year. Can, Actually, gotta, can we do a shout out for Rob? You got to do Sh- a shout out for Rob. Rob, Rob, Rob. Rob has yep. transformed. Take your top off. <laughs> come on, surely. Come on. <laughs> no, How many people are taking your top off in in uh, unlaced okay. podcast? No, do you know one? Would this be one? Oh, one. No, 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 do you know what his name was? Andrew Dutch. No. <laughs> Come on, do it for the Do it for the on, Just let it end. Oh, bro. Okay, what are the odds? What are the odds you doing? No way. What are the odds? Here we okay, go. This is the odds. Right Ten. Ten. Oh, better than ten. So Ready? I'm doing it. Three, two, one, Eight. four. Oh, shit. Oh, you're so good at that, too, bro. Oh, Ten you, have well? nah, you have to repeat. You have to repeat, bro. Mother. Ten. Mother. But does that mean he has to take his top yes, off? Yes, yes. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, four. Nine. Oh, you're actually going for Oh, my God. Oh, uh, okay. Nice. All right, no, Kev, no, Kev, Kev what's your grateful? Number. What's your grateful? What am I grateful for? Real talk. I I am grateful. I realised today, like I live by this moment, but I live by this moment. I live by by this saying, but I think it's it's come to life this year. Is I you know when you tell yourself everything happens for a reason, mm-hmm. even when things are Don't, shit, mm-hmm. and you're just like, ah, oh, things happen for a reason, like it'll work out. I actually realised. Everything happens for a reason today. Like, like not today, but this this year, you realise how everything falls into place. And like we've lived, we, we're, we're very similar in that nature. But like we've lived by that. Yeah. But I'm grateful for realising that. I honestly feel like everything does happen for a reason, and like particularly with work and mm. and you know having the the guidance and support that I've had. <laughs> where you know sometimes you doubt yourself, and then you realise like you know I'm capable. Like I'm I'm you know I'm happy with where I'm at. Yeah. I'm 
That's where I'm at. Like, I'm just happy where I am career-wise. I'm happy where I am mentally. I'm happy where I am in my relationship. Yeah, I'm happy where I am spot. with my friends. Yeah. Like, the, the the bunch that we have, like, you, you, have, you, you think back, and we like when we have a few drinks, like maybe like 30 drinks, <laughs> you say, like, think about it. Every single person in our circle of friends is like-minded, sex, like, succeeding or successful determined or aiming to be and well, not a drop kick right yeah, not, yeah. And, and can hold a conversation every single one of us in our friendship group can walk into any room I honestly believe any single like every single one of us can walk into any room and have a chat particularly this guy <laughs> Dutch can talk under, Dutch can, he's defied science he talks underwater <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm great sometimes I can't talk <laughs> <laughs> Bro, do you know what though? Do you know why I gravitated you, Kevin? Actually, Dutch, I think you're, as he said, you're very similar. One thing I noticed about you is you're very glass half full. Yeah. Do you know how hard, do you know how hard that is to be, bro? Like I think with most, don't get, don't get me wrong. You probably do have your down moments, but you're always a, like a very glass half full guy. But everyone should be. Yeah. Or, but everyone knows they should be, <laughs> I, but not everyone is. Yeah, I agree. And to be fair, like I haven't always been like that. Yeah. With, with soccer, I was never that until I stopped soccer and I became glass half full. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's weird that, you know. It's yeah, you can't teach it. Yeah. All right. Now this is a this is a very interesting question, I feel, because like we spoke about Kev's now thirty, we're turning thirty. Are you next year thirty? Yeah. Feb. Yeah, so next year. So yeah, Feb, I'm May. So as men, do you feel pressure heading into thirty or turning thirty to get serious, like changing up your lifestyle or things or settling down? Like obviously you've got a partner now, but like Have I settled before, down? No, before you yeah, but before you had Steph, I was like, Oh, he would probably he will always be single. Yeah, do you know what I mean? That, yeah. So, like, it was a bit of a left field one. But in general, do you guys feel any, like, common society pressures with age progressing? I don't feel it. I feel, like I said before, I feel like 30 is a milestone. It's good to look back on your last 30 years. Well, some people don't make it to 30 too, you know. Like, it's really like, how did we make it past I've said I'm grateful for We're lucky, bro. Well, you're not there yet, but. Yeah. yeah. Well, next year. Um, I'm looking forward to it. There's yeah, nothing to look old. forward to, mate. Trust me. Why? Because it's just you're 30. You think your life's going to change up. To Do you 30. know what it's someone told a- me? It's like turning 30 in your 30s is the best time because you start to like you understand you yourself. You start yeah, to be yeah. in a better position. You like who you are. You like where you're going. You know, your wiser. You know your friends. You, you, you value things more and you understand things more. Yeah. Mm. Which in the twi- but I also think in the 20s I, d- I don't want to be like that. I want to be chaotic and stuff because now when I'm getting to that point, I'm like I value being a bit crazy and doing things that, you know. Yeah. I suppose the real question is, I mean, should you be going to electric if you're 30? Well, at, we what point, at what point is it deemed unacceptable? Coming because a guy who screams that we're going to electric. <laughs> 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 is he trying to dig his own coffin? Uh, yeah, he goes to electric. But it's true though. You think about it, right? So when you were in your 20s and there were people that were 30, did you look at them and think, what are you doing here? Like at what point do you think it's time to not go to electric? Yeah. Yeah, you fair. tell me. You tell us, bro. <laughs> You're all on us. I can't confirm, mate. You know, uh, I don't, th- you I don't think so. I don't think let's, so. No, let's, like, what, I don't there's think a so. good chance we'll end up there I, tonight. I, I think uh, I think you should be going to electric at you know in your in your thirties if you enjoy it. Like yeah. if it makes you happy, makes you happy. Yeah, yeah, age a little bit. Yeah, um, I'm going to take a hard turn here, but World Cup. Obviously, the World Cup. Now, when this episode comes out, it's finished. But. Um, First off, how has your experience been with the World Cup? Have you guys watched any of it? You guys are big soccer people. Uh, Kev's apparently Argentinian all of a sudden. I'm enough to watch the 2 a.m. games. 2 a.m. was a disaster. 6 a.m. <clears throat> 6 a.m. 9 p.m. was great 9 p.m. Yeah, when 9 that was around. Was unreal. Yeah. Yeah. Never went to Fed Square, though. Never. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I don't know. Because you know what? You don't know if it's going to be hit or miss until the next day, and you're like, oh, fuck, should have gone. Yeah. yeah. But also, like, if, if the soccer wasn't on and what was happening at Fed Square, you think there was a civil war? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, everyone was just turned, it was like it was on fire at one point. Did it look, did it look like Melbourne? Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, it's good. Um, well, I want to talk about your bet because you guys bet on. Can what? we talk about no, no, this? No, no, not you guys. I think this explains Stutch as a, as a bloke. Oh, Top so, bloke. Well, okay, well, Top I'm going to let you explain it then. Do you want me to explain it? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're in on so it. So we're at, we're at, um, yeah, we're at Steph's birthday um, at the Emerson and um, I'm at the bar and, and you know, Andrew, or Dutch, as we call him, turns around and goes, oh, Kev, I've got to show you this multi. I'm like, what is it? Pulls out his phone. And I reckon get the multi out. Like, put, put, like show the multi here. Well, no, tell us what the multi is. The multi well, is, can't see the, old, the, the multi is Arsenal to finish um, in the first top. without Man City. So essentially in so the top second. two. Top two, top yeah. Two, yeah. Arsenal to finish top two. And Argentina to make the semifinals, right? No, was, the, was it the World Cup final or semifinal? No, World Cup final. Was it wow. Yeah. I'll win the so semifinal. I'll put this bet on. So Argentina may or may have not won right now because we don't know, but guys. We're shooting before. just before this. So it was quarterfinals. At this point, it was quarterfinals. Wow. And, and I'm like, 
and I look at it and it's he's put a hundred bucks and it's paid it's pain. Look at that. See, that's how optimistic I am. It's paid because it's going to hit. So the odds are the odds are for so everyone at home. So Argentina to reach the final and Arsenal to come um, higher than anyone else in the Premier League without Man City. So Man City can come first and Arsenal come second. They still win this bet. It's paying a hundred and two, a hundred dollars, a hundred and two dollars. What's it paying now? And you guys put on a hundred bucks. No correction. Dutch put a hundred bucks. Dutch put on a hundred bucks, and the potential winnings is ten grand. And then he turns 10. around. Ten point two five. Turns around at the bar. I'm like, that's the best multi you've ever put on. He goes, you? No, we've. I go, what? He goes, we're half of this. Wow. I go, you're kidding. He goes, of course. Wow. And you know what's amazing about that is him being such a good bloke to think that because most people would be selfish. And secondly, yeah. we're in the end of December. I know the World Cup breaks happen. There's still 24 games to go. Arsenal is seven points clear at the top. Cash had to be like seven grand. Arsenal yeah. seven points nah, clear of Ar- no. Arsenal seven right. points clear of third place. Yep. So Man City is a bit closer, but they don't count. They don't count, yeah. Oh, my God. So I put this on, what date was that? 24th of July. So I think that was just before all the season started. Damn. So you know when wow. you, how you, did you even? Well, you know how normally you put these big shopping the docket Marys. multis? The Hail Marys. One from every league. Yeah. Melbourne Storm to win the rugby. Yeah. Melbourne to win the AFL. Put them all together. I thought, you know what, this year I might change it up. Oh, my Make God. Make it a small one. Thanks for changing it up. Appreciate it, bro. Oh, <laughs> mate. That, that's all. Well, congratulate. I hope that gets up. I actually, we'll I, I, Arsenal playing unbelievable. Amazing. We're speaking about that. Might sign Jal Felix, which would be interesting. Yes, hopefully. They need someone. They need number nine. Well, in the in the Christmas spirit, how do you guys finish a year? Do you guys do anything traditional? Like, is there anything you value this time of year that's sentimental, family, all that sort of stuff, like for, for Christmas, New Year period? Probably my... Um, it's the nephews. Probably my, yeah. nah, probably my, yeah, my sister's Christmas Eve party that she does. Does she? Actually, what are you doing Christmas Eve? Oh, I'm, I'm going to the I think, I think, yeah. I think for the sake yeah. of- I'm going to Buenos Aires. I think, I think for the sake oh, of yeah. this conversation, that if you're not doing anything Christmas Eve, then come to my sister's. It's I a big, I am. it's a big, big piss up. Um, so hangovers Christmas morning type stuff. Hangover Christmas morning, yeah, yeah but oh, it's, it's, good, it's you know, it. it's just a Good day to spread. be hungover though. Big spread. Um, I look forward to that. It's actually a really good night. So Beautiful. Dutchie, what about you? What do you value? The sort of traditional stuff that you would do. Oh, it's just the family time. Oh, cliche. Flame yeah, but you got fun. nieces and nephews, huh? Yeah, so that's that's pretty special. Them excited, you know, does, presents. That, does that reinvigorate Christmas for you when you see what like? Do you know what I mean? When you know when you get older, you kind of get like Christmas gets a bit more dull. Like you love yeah, it, but yeah. like it's not like this kid was the best day ever. Oh no, I enjoy the KKs with the with the boys. Yeah, so that's a good one as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, just. Surprise my niece and nephew with oh. presents. Oh man. Yeah, but like, yeah, like my nephew got a PS Five for his ninth birthday, like. I'd be happy at my 30th getting a PS5. Like, we, we didn't get those gifts when we were younger. <laughs> yeah. No. Nah. Nah. Like, imagine getting Nintendo That's probably six. why we get them now. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, probably. Yeah. You're probably right. Yeah. Well, what, what, so what would you, would you get in this? What do you value, though? What do you, what do you value? Like for me, for... Do you know what? I, every time in the summertime, always like... Always, because I'm very... Not cold through the year, but like when it comes to summertime and it slows down, yeah. I start valuing connection more. Start realizing, like, I start inviting people, different people over to my parents' house, yeah. to my house, like, yeah. like actually talk. I don't know why socializing more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know why. That's always a thing. Obviously, my mum's cooking and Christmas and yeah. stuff's off its head, but yeah, yeah, yeah. that that for some reason I even notice it now. It's like, oh, I want to do that sort of stuff. Where before I was like, I wasn't even interested. Yeah, it's real weird, bro. I don't know. It's this time of year, Christmas cheer. To right. everyone together. Black Santa, you know, maybe yeah. I'll be down the chimney. Hey, the Grinch. I didn't I'll get it. Oh, stop, stop, I got- stop, stop. This is good. What are the odds you wear in the Grinch suit tonight? Well, I can't. There's no, no, no odds. I didn't get it. We I didn't get it. No, nah, it doesn't matter. We can find it. What are the odds? Oh, no, I don't like playing There's with a costume shop. Here we go. Yeah, hey, we've all done it. We've both done it. I'll go 15. 15? We did 10. We did 10. 10. Ready? Who's it between? Us, yeah, okay, go. But no, if if then the flip is they have no, to no, 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 no flip. We've all done one each. We've done one each. Okay, fair, fair, fair. So who who am I doing it against? So it's me and you. I'd prefer to do it against Switch. No, no, no. I've got, I reckon I've got you. I've got he you. always gets me. I've every got time. him. Go, go. Three, two, one. Six. Thirteen. Yes. Thirteen. Was that a ten? No, was that a ten? No, 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 no. Oh, it was. Oh. Fuck. It was out of ten. Fuck. You. That's half you odds. That's out of five. No, it's not. Yes, no, it's not. That's that's an into. No, if anything, I'm not here for the cost. No, I was never going to go six anyway. No, no, no. What am I, King James? I kept saying four. Maybe six. Is that a Five. Uh, three, two, one, one. Four. Adds up to five. Go again. Adds up. He's Cox. Right. Oh, he's Cox. 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 Cox is not in. Three, two, one, three. three. Yeah. Adds up to five. Adds up to five. Adds up to five. Go again. Three, two, one, three. three. Oh, five. Oh, this is jokes, God. bro. This is jokes, oh, bro. This is oh, jokes. Say four or something. Go, go, <laughs> go. Ready. Three, two, one, one. 
Oh, he did five. five. He did five. Yeah, oh. Had the hand up. Fuck. Oh. Jakey's out. All right. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. All right. Um, really nervous, had, had, had plenty of chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, where did that game come from? Um, all right. Where am I going here? That's lost my. Uh, <laughs> that's so like, oh, actually, this is a good one. What's one life lesson that you guys have taken with you that you'd like to share? Is there anything that stands out to you across your life, like a life lesson or something specific that's really helped you? Like, for instance, me, one of the things my dad ingrained in me as a kid, which I really value as I've gotten older, is courtesy costs you nothing. So, like, I I never, you know, when you think like that, you're like, you kind of get more giving, more caring, more receptive, all that sort of stuff. Yep. It's really, really valuable for me. Yeah. I I I think um, don't open your mouth unless someone benefits. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. some like that's, Elon that's, Musk, like yeah. Twitter, Twitter boardroom type benefits, shit. That's know? Elon Musk, Twitter boardroom, like first rule. Yeah, big one for me is uh, tough times don't last, tough people do. Hey, oh, coming from yeah, the oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brother. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh mate. What about you, Coxie? I'm going to put you on the Yeah, spot come here. on, Brayden. What do you got? Anything stands out for you? Uh, Brayden's lived some life. <laughs> you what? fuck one goat, you're a goat fucker. Jesus. Oh, I, I tell you what, you. guys, I know at home this isn't our traditional podcast, but get used to it because it's an annual thing. Um, it's, yeah, pretty, next pretty year special you're time. Wear a Grinch suit, though. Yeah, I might do something weird next year. We'll, de- we'll definitely, you boys will we'll have we'll to get back on. Tonight, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys do? I think this is a, a relative question to everyone because we appreciate everyone's had a big year working and either figuring out their life, what they want to do, or finding what they want and working hard. And this is a time of year to relax and connect with family. But what do you guys do to like refresh, reset? Because that's a very challenging kind of thing, especially you when you when you own a business, when you're sort of in a management role, like these things. I'm looking forward to just shutting off. Yeah. How right. how do you do that though? Like, can you do that? I, no tools, no emails. How do, you, how do you actually shut off? So when you get home, right? So oh, say right. you're not doing invoice and you get home, what do you do? No, he's talking about the holidays. So. Are you talking about the holidays? You're talking in general when you get home. I'm talking just no. I'm talking in in the, in this holiday break. Oh, in the holiday break. Yep. Yep. You make sure that you're organised before the break. That's my theory. So not you, like, you, you can... like setting yourself up for the next year. So in the break, you have no errands or work kind of. If you close out the year and you go on mm. holidays, you're not going to be stressed. If you don't finish your shit before the break, yeah. you're going to be thinking about it during the break. Like it's your own fault. Yeah. You're your own worst enemy. Mm. Right. Okay. Cheers, boys. Yeah. Yes. Love yous. Do you reckon, boy, actually, this is going to be an interesting one. Mm-hmm. Do you reckon, um, do you reckon like people, like, because I, I tell you guys I love you. You guys tell me you love me. Do you reckon we, like, ma- men don't do that enough? Do you reckon that's powerful? I think you need it. Yeah, I think you need to express how you feel to, to your, the ones that you really to a lot love. of my mates. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, yeah do. I try to as well. But I feel like a lot of people, do you know one thing that really actually bothers me yep. is when I have mates close to me that have gone through shit and don't, like, I don't know. It's the hard people that don't open up. And, and it's like, how do you how do you communicate that to someone? But like, or, I understand it not, too. Or you're not close enough to your mate to open up. But I, so, but see, for me, like, I I'm close with you boys. But you know, when if I go through real shit, you know who I find it easiest to talk to? Strangers. Mm. You know how weird that is. Yeah, but see, that's that's your. It's it's. it's it, I don't I don't agree with it, but like, it's just naturally like it's comforting for me. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, I've I've got a friend that. Um, <clears throat> lost his father recently and he's one of the brightest, the most amazing human beings you'll ever meet. Mm. Right. Hands, like hands down. You ever rest meet him? Rest in peace. Like, yeah, rest in peace. Um, but hands down, like you meet him and everyone says the same thing. Like he's, mm. he's got a heart of gold. He walks into a room, you can feel his energy, right? Mm. The problem with him yeah. is, is he, he, he's so humble that he doesn't turn around and say, Hey, like I need something and and i'm not saying that he does but you almost got to comfort him and say hey like you know we're here Mm. and 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 almost like reiterate like we're here for you but don't feel like i'm just saying that like i really mean it like you have friends next to you that Mm. love you very much and it's not a bad thing to do like remind remind your friends deal with things with different things differently yeah but you you got got almost got to remind your friends like hey like this isn't a false-hearted comment like we, we we truly mean this like you have a good you know, a good circle of friends around you that are there for you, not mm. because they need to, like, because they want to, like, because mm. they love you. Yeah. Do you reckon like, it's a judgment thing that people fear that they're going to get judged or something while they don't do it? Like, like more broadly, like the stigma around like male mental health. Yeah, like, we've yeah, spoken about this a hundred times in this podcast because I think it's really valuable because we have a lot of dudes listening that are probably going through stuff that are like thinking this way, right? So I always try to sort of explain or share stories from our guests of like ways of 
you know, to open up and connect because it's like literally voicing anything can change everything. Yep. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Even even if it's not has nothing to do with mental health, even if it's like I want to be the best, you know, UFC fighter in the world. Yeah, yeah. If you start saying it, you're probably closer to it than not. Yeah. Do you know or what manifesting, I mean? right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I don't know, but yeah, I find that uh, man. I love you guys. Just so, yeah. Love you, man. Cheers, salute. I man. really do. You know what? Merry heart of gold. Yeah, heart of gold. You heart too. of gold. Love you. Love you. And look, even though again, I had to buy my own drinks um, as a guest. Yeah. <laughs> I still, I still appreciate top your love. Like, oh, top, yeah. <laughs> top, top, top G doesn't buy it. <laughs> hey, do you know what? Actually, I would have gone. This is going to be funny, but um, like Dutch is obviously one of the best electricians going around, right? And uh, hands down, yeah, hands down. Like efficiency, he's just good bloke. Gets jobs done. He's he's oh, like a man, a man of his word, yeah, a yeah, man yeah. of his word. Um, so much so that like his connection to his clients, uh, you know, they they love him so much in in various ways. They come back for for work. They he meets the family, he meets the kids, he shakes hands, he's kissing cheeks. Hey, he lives yeah, I know where he's going with him. Well, no, but there was there's a, a particular client that's really taken to Dutch. And let's say the family's really taken to Dutch. And I just want to get some like clarity on this situation. Yeah, but the story. there's a specific client that might want you to shag his wife. <laughs> Is that a true True statement. Can you give us a rundown? Can, can, even can confirm. Me, myself, what and I the can fuck? Confirm. So you got a client from your work that wants you to shag his missus? Well, I work at his house. Why? I just do my thing, chat shit, have a laugh with the customers. You know, you got to make them feel comfortable in their own house. Yeah, that's the number one thing for me. Yeah, but it was like a forty degree day, and by chance I had my top off because it was oh, just so by hot. Chance, by chance, right? <laughs> and he and he comes out. He goes, "Hey." My wife's watching, yeah. <laughs> said, I want to start. I want to start. But he was all right because we had a laugh with him. He was cool. You know, just this big guy. He's about six foot something. He's a huge, towering guy. But it was weird. I finished the job. It was all good. And then randomly he would just text me saying, hey, um, <laughs> my missus likes you. But what time was this? Because I was with him. <laughs> is this at all hours or is this like at a civilised oh, point? Get the message, just get the message. No, don't out. get about. Don't <laughs> get about. What are you, you <laughs> no, going to say? No, no, Braden, no, this was a long Braden, time ago. What is this rabble? He's got to save that to the shagger. What are you going to say? No. Are you serious? All right, some so, th- so, but this is a true story. So, there's a guy that you've you've done work for that openly, like we used to joke a lot on site. So, I just thought he was joking, but about sh- about sleeping with his missus, missus. like three a.m. We get a, like a phone call, and I, so that same oh, stress okay. face that you saw. <laughs> he, go, <laughs> he goes, "Hey, mate, a couple of things. Uh, circuit breaker is fixed. Fucking awesome job replacing it, mate. And the missus was thinking about you today. <laughs> oh God." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The work was good. Was like, I like the I like I like the way he's coming, like a soft entrance. Yeah, it's real and soft it just goes and then back. hard. What did you respond to? And of course, to that? like I'll bite back. All right, if she gets too much, mate, I'll happily take off your hands. Like just as a joke, because <laughs> we're just joking. You know what I mean? Are you though? Like, what no, is going was, on there? Hey, anyway. What is that? What is it? <laughs> Other than that, you guys fucking she got excited over that. Oh. <laughs> He goes, she's like a little teen. Oh, like, oh. Then what? I was like, hang on. He's like a little teen. Read that really out, read that out word for word. He goes, that message. He goes, ha, ha, ha. Fucking she got excited over that comment. She's like a little teen. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is going on These in this These guys world? are like in their 40s. Well, there right, you go. Yeah, You're funny. obviously good at your job, so we'll <laughs> put it that way. 10.30 p.m. That's a late. That's Cat, a, that's Cat a wants you back. Time to replace all the outdoor sensor lights. <laughs> He goes, tell her I'm keen. Look at this. You failed to mention this. Maybe I don't oh, fucking no, don't mention sell him down the drain. Tell her I'm keen. Just won't be doing any work, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's unbelievable, bro. That's great, man. That's, that's a curveball in life that you got to embrace sometimes. But yeah. you know what? We're going to round out here because um, our friendship, as much as we love each other, we've said that, we are a competitive group. We all, like Whenever there's competition, that is where – that's also where our friendship flourishes and also the demise of it because we, none of us like to lose. So no, no. this is going to be – like I want honesty. We're very honest people. Um, I've got a quick fire five and we all have to have an opinion on every question that I say of who is the best out of us three. Okay. All right? And genuine. Like there's no winners or losers. It's just going to be interesting to yeah, see. Yeah, so yeah. – and part of this is I get we might not exactly know, but it's your intuitive feeling of knowing the person. What do you look at? You got a smirk in your face. What no, because the first, first, one, the first, one, the first, one, the first one, no, 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 Anyway, all right. Who is the best? Who has the best DM game out of us three? Can I say mine first? Dutch. 
I think Dutch has the best oh, DM game. Oh I reckon God. you got the best email game. Oh my God! Yeah, got great. Better it works. <laughs> Dutch hundred percent. Dutch has the best. A- Dutch has the best DM game. Bro, I remember going through your DMs like the Tinder. Do you remember the Tinder? Did you? Yeah, well, the I don't Tinder know what he was doing, but it was like so. Like oh. I thought I was good, and then I saw him, and I'm like, bro, I'm not even tiny shoelaces, bro. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you know when? We, do you remember when we were talking about this? I do, I do. It was late. Can we provide an example just I, yeah, to give I just context? Realized, I can't believe we just. I'm glad we just thought of this now. This is gold. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! Your DM game is unbelievable. Give, remember- give give some insight to the listeners of like, yeah, I've got yeah, but like what, what are you it, thinking? Though? Is it all instinct and you're just throwing back chat, or you got you, like an actual brain? You gotta you gotta be different, and you gotta catch them early. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Catch him He's, early. What yeah. the fuck as does Cox, that mean? Say, you as, Ro- so as, Ro- as Rob would say, you got to drop the burly. <laughs> <laughs> drop the burly, Roberto. <laughs> shout out, Roberto. Where would you have sent these? Would they have been on WhatsApp? So, so when you say different, like difference, like yeah, okay, I get that. But what does that actually mean? Cliche, what, are hey, Hawaii, what are you pinpointing? What are you pinpointing about? What's the your being... favorite color? Like I'm not doing that. Yeah, but okay, yeah. But so what are you doing though? I work with what they got. They've got a bio, you know. All right. So you're creating, name. you're creating off what you can take and taking it to another stratosphere. Yeah. Yeah, as you know. Uh, yeah, as I know, but I just yeah. can't think of one off the top of my head. Oh, I can yeah. think of right, one keep... off the top. No, 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 okay. I'm like, I'll give an example. It's that, quick that was, fire was, for a reason. It's not, not, not long not fire. Amber. Amber. No, her name was yeah, Amber. Yeah. Her name was Amber. <laughs> right? So because it's better when I like when I show you the actual Tinder profile. <laughs> no, no, but, like just, you see the Tinder profile. He just sent him. I was in stitches. Can you please find him? And it was her name was Amber, and he just responded because it's all about the one liner. He would turn around and go. Yeah, I don't normally yeah, stop yeah. for Amber, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> and then puts a traffic light emoji, right? <laughs> that is so right. Uh, that's I don't know if that's good or bad, but it nah, just makes me laugh. It's well, I don't usually stop for <laughs> Amber. There's so many layers into that. Yeah, yeah. What about the alien? There was an alien one that was. Oh, we got to keep moving through this. Quick by five. They can't see it at home, Dutch. Don't worry. All right, this is a different one. Who out of us three has the best banter? Oh, this is a tough one because I think everyone's quite good. Everyone's but I'm, pretty good. But you know what? So we're in also the, humble, so no one's going to say no, no, no. But we don't no no humility. I think I'm in the top two, but, to but not two. No, but I don't know who's with me. I take Dutch, I reckon, as number one. Yeah, Dutch is good. Yeah. Dutch is too witty. He's one of the most witty people I've met. Yeah, like Dutch doesn't relax though, does he? Like, that, like, do you know what I mean? He's always on. His band's always, always yeah, on. He doesn't know how to switch like, on. Like, sometimes yeah, I can yeah. switch mine off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah you know, always ticking. So that makes you. Yeah, that makes you the goat. It's like Messi. He's the goat. Yeah, he, like he so. Dutch is Dutch two about. from two. You bastard. Top two. Oh, this is going to be an interesting one. All right, who is the best on a night out? Fucking hands down, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, I think Kevin too. I think yeah. like, Kevin. That's my, not a good thing. The best could also be the worst. Nah, but like worst is like it doesn't matter about longevity or anything. It's like best, best value. Yep. Yeah. Except for except I'll, for I'll, except mate, for when you decide to play chess. Foxy, come out tonight. You'll you might say. It. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is a this is a heart. So this one is one of the ones I was saying. You got to go with your intuition. Best to go on tour with, travel with. Who would be the best to go traveling with? <laughs> oh, I love me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not sleeping next to me. That's for sure. <laughs> I am in this fucking game, you bastards. <laughs> well, well, we'll find out. We're, we're going away this. We're going away this year. Oh yeah, right. Yet to fight. I haven't gone. I've gone away with oh, him, but the bloke snores like. I think now. I hands down. I'm going to say. Myself or you, because I think he is um, easy to be with, but very picky on certain things. Oh yeah, and his pickiness on a, on a multiple week period would eat at you. Example, yeah. example. Uh, example. Like yeah. today, cracked it because I didn't. He's like, "Can you please get me other drinks?" I'm oh, like, "Bro, you're yeah, allergic yeah. to beer. I didn't know. Go get your own." Like, do you, you know what I mean? Are we even friends? Like, mm. you should have known that. Yeah, yeah like, to be just, honest, I actually should have. Yeah, yeah, yeah but the thing is, to be fair to me, right? The, this listener at home, he told me he was allergic to beers. And I was like, I clocked it. And then he goes, fuck it. Let's have a beer. So Look, what, what be, the fuck I'm not am actually I? allergic mm. to beers. I just say that so people fuck off and they try not to. <laughs> well, so he's lying to me. <laughs> anyway. Just, all right. Last one. This is going to be a good one. Most that. competitive out of us three. Over here. Well, it's really? nah, pretty competitive though. But I, 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 like, I feel sick when I lose. Like at the Emerson with, with your mate, yeah. I'm sitting there absolutely like blind and I kept playing what are the odds and I lost oh, yeah, three or four times in a row. And I, and I said to him on the fourth one, he's like, what's, what are you doing? And I'm like, just letting you know, I'm going to vomit. Yeah, like he'll defeat. So he'll, yeah. I'll put Kev up there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, boys, it's- so maybe chuck that soccer one in, and we'll give that to yeah, you. Yeah, let's get one. So <laughs> no, because you might not no, even say oh, that. <laughs> guys, guys, <laughs> say who's, who's, who's the best soccer player out of everyone here? No, let's do this. This is more competitive. This okay. is more even. Who's the best five-a-side player here? 
girl. I'll still take it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just take Obviously me. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, that's a good fuck one. Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right, but boys, Merry Christmas. Merry I love Christmas, you all. Man. Thank you so much Thank for coming you. on the show. Uh, to the listeners at home, have a Merry Christmas. Um, it's been a joy this year. We do have one more episode coming out, which I can't wait to share with you. So keep your eyes peeled before the new year. And then we're going to be taking a four-week break just to uh, recharge. Me and Braden need a little bit of a break. Get to get hopefully a suntan. I don't think I need one. But Fall nonetheless, uh, thank you very much for tuning in and have a Merry Christmas. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details.